Marksmanship Unit has been one of those organizations that has improved dramatically over the years and has brought a lot of acclaim to both the Corps Cadets and Texas A&M University. We're not the basketball team. We're not the soccer team. What we do is inherently dangerous. Safety is job one, two, and three for me as a coach. I have loved every aspect of the team, but getting to teach people and getting to see them grow was super exciting and fun for me. You're training all of the time. The easiest part of shooting is actually pulling the trigger. Everything else is mental. Founded in December 2011 under the Corps Athletic Association, the Corps of Cadets Marksmanship Unit is an elite shooting team that competes nationally in a variety of shooting disciplines. Representing the Texas A&M University Corps of Cadets, they have gone on to compete nationally. Uh, they've won national championships at the college level. They've competed in law enforcement competitions, three-gun competitions, and they have done extremely well. And a lot of that has to do with the coaching, with the amount of time they spend practicing, uh, with the amount of effort they put into it, and with the commitment that these team members have to seeing that team do well. The Corps Cadets Marksmanship Unit is a vehicle for leader development. When I think about the Corps Cadets Marksmanship Unit, uh, I think about an organization that has a national level reputation for excellence. We understand that there's a, a brand associated with Texas A&M University. There's a reputation associated with Texas A&M University. And we also know that it's a friendly competition among the other senior military colleges and the academies as well. The consistency of performance by the Corps Cadets Marksmanship Unit has really created this incredible sense of competition with the service academies. West Point does see us as a rivalry. I am reliably told that there's a sign over the exit door of their primary practice range that doesn't say beat Navy. I'm told it says beat A&M. I grew up in a really small town on my family's cattle ranch. Uh, my graduating class was less than 40 students. I didn't want to stay in Utah for college. I wanted to go somewhere else. And I stumbled upon A&M in my research and I said, that sounds like a great school. And then I stumbled upon the Corps of Cadets on their website. And I just thought, you know what, let's try it. I wanna do something challenging that's gonna help me grow as an individual. And then getting to be a member of the team also really became a family and kind of helped me find my place and my people here in Texas. Ayla Moran is my senior female cadet on the team this year, and there is no situation that is too big for her. There is no challenge that uh, she's not willing to take on. She has performed exceptionally well over her career, is an outstanding shooter. On the team, we're students first, cadets second, and then shooters third. And to be able to do all three, you have to be able to have a work ethic and a drive to do it all. My sophomore year, I had the opportunity to serve as the B-Squad commander, and that was the most rewarding experience I've had in college, it's getting to take freshman cadets and teach them and see them grow, not just as shooters, but cadets and leaders in their own rights, was super rewarding. I grew up in Pflugerville, just outside Austin. My folks aren't gun people. I hadn't shot at all prior to coming to the Corps of Cadets Marksmanship Unit. Showed up to the tryout, barely knowing anything, and now I'm the shooter I am today. My team commander is Chance DeVos. He is an Air Force contract cadet, and uh, he is an outstanding young man. Great shooter, a great leader. Uh, I've not had many more on the team much better than him. CCMU, teaches you to strive for excellence in all that you do. And that work ethic really pushes our cadets to be better students, better cadets in the Corps, and then better shooters. We've won a lot of championships and we've won a lot of matches, but academics are the most important part. My cadets' parents didn't send them to the Corps of Cadets to shoot on my team. They sent them here to get an education, and that to me is the most important thing that we can do. One of the things I was proudest of about these sports teams in the Corps is the diverse nature of the cadets that participate. 
So you've got representation from all four classes on these athletic teams. We've got males and females that compete on all the teams. What's unique about the marksmanship unit, though, is you have males and females competing side by side. They are world-class athletes that through the core allow them to compete across a range of athletic activities. I think our core athletics programs really allows cadets to continue this sense of competition uh, in a sport that they're passionate about. I jokingly say that we use free guns and ammo to keep their attention while we teach them small unit leadership and while we teach them inventory, we're teaching them all of those things that are gonna make them better prepared to lead when they leave here. That leadership aspect is critical, not just from a safety perspective, but also in learning how to work with others in high stress environments. And that's a pretty high stress environment when you talk about young men and women with loaded firearms uh, in a competitive mode. What a better venue to be able to create those conditions by which they learn uh, and then take that into whatever they do in life, whether it's in the military or a public sector in some way, shape or form, or continue their education. You can't ask for a better vehicle for that. In April, the CCMU travels to Epping, New Hampshire to compete in the SIG Relentless Warrior Combat Shooting Championship, where cadets face off against the United States Military Academies and senior military colleges. Cadets not only compete as a team, but for high individual honors as well. As a senior, this really was my last event. Kind of went there with the mindset of, I'm here to perform, but I'm also going to enjoy this competition. These cadets work very, very hard. This is a culminating event of the year for us. And so it's a very challenging, very technical match to shoot. I was high lady overall at the match. That's something that I was working really hard for. It's something that I wanted. It's a pretty good way to end my senior year on the team. Since 2015, the CCMU has won four Relentless Warrior Championships and been second four times, bested only by the United States Military Academy, West Point. We want to continue this tradition of operating at this elite level. We want to recruit the very best to come to our universities and to be a part of our cores. And at a time when less than 1% of the American population is serving, it's a source of pride for all of us that all these young men and women want to come here to be a part of it. We have a legacy to uphold, for sure, and that sometimes adds to the pressure, but it's exciting to know that you're a part of a program that has done so well in the past, and it's up to you to keep it going in the future.